play in a position, radius, the radius, the width of the golf swing is something that uh, I define a little bit differently to the way that I was first taught. When I was first ta taught golf, I was taught to get as wide as possible because it was in that era where Jack Nicklaus was bombing the ball and Tom Weisskopf and we were trying to get as wide as possible. But over the years, I've learned that actually the more consistent the width is more important in effective and consistent striking of the golf ball and that is the radius. Now the way I measure the radius of the golf swing is from the wrist joints to a point about an inch above the sternum. Now I've experimented with this on the sternum a couple of inches above the sternum but I found about an inch above the sternum seems to be the best spot to be able to do this particular drill and exercise. Now what I've got here is just a shoestring and what I'm going to do is going to do right hand first of all. So I'm just going to hold the shoestring through the uh, heel of my hand here so it's at my wrist joint and I'm going to hold the shoestring about an inch above my sternum. Now when I get myself in my setup position that's now created the radius of the golf swing in particular the right arm. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make a back swing and I'm going to keep a consistent tension on that as I turn my shoulders and fold my right elbow to take the club to the top of the backswing. Now if I narrowed the radius and we see this quite often with golfers where they pick the golf club up and they overfold the right arm you can see the shoestring has has gone slack and if I try to get wide like I was taught when I was a kid get as wide as possible then I've extended the radius on the way back and somewhere during the downswing I'm going to have to restore that or that club's going to run into the ground. So measuring it from just an inch above, above the sternum to the top of the backswing and then back down to impact gives me a great feel for where my right arm should be throughout the golf swing. Now I'm going to do that again now holding the golf club and there's my position of the right arm at the top of the backswing using the shoestring from the heel of the hand which basically represents the wrist joint to about an inch above the sternum. Now I'm going to do it with my left hand. So same through the heel of the hand about an inch above the sternum. Get the feeling now where my left arm needs to be. So once again if I go wide that would extend or if I pick it up it would go slack. So maintaining the radius to the top then from there you can put your right hand on the club. So this is one of my my favourite drills is take it to the top with my left hand, turning my shoulders, there's constant and good radius, put my right hand on the club, now I feel that position and then I take it up there without the string and I'm feeling the radius of the golf swing. So don't we, we don't want to extend the radius, we don't want to shorten the radius through the golf swing, constant radius is the key to centred, consistent, solid contact.